So, welcome to the first module here. Very exciting. Uh, unfortunately, the first module is to deal with your pain. <laughs> and I, uh, it's so funny, you know, when I'm working with clients, the first thing I wanna have a think about is the context and the reason why they are looking to change. The reason why, you know, where they're at isn't actualizing, fulfilling their potential, isn't fulfilling in itself. And uh, that's just one of the things we have to move through here. So we're starting off in a, in a bit of a rut, I suppose, but bear with me, there is context and uh, intention behind it. When you're thinking about pain, okay, life has become a hell of a lot easier, um, evolutionarily speaking, okay? There are lots of us that are dealing with issues subjectively, but the animal of, of, of a human being doesn't have to fight for its life like it used to back in the wild, obviously, for the most of us anyway. Um, at least uh, the ones of us doing this course. What we want to have a think about here is why we might be psychologically suffering. And there's a really important neuroscientific component to this course to understand what's going on in the brain, which is going to give us context as to why we might be feeling existentially lost, um, circumstantially depressed, um, unaware of who we are or who we could be, moving through an identity crisis. All of these things comprise um, you know, this kind of pain that we're talking about here. When you have a look at the brain, there are two really important neurotransmitters that I want to talk about here. One of them is dopamine, which I'm sure you all have heard of. And the other one is serotonin, which I'm also sure you've all, uh, you've all heard of. And these two neurotransmitters, I believe they really work well with one another. Okay. So the dopaminergic system is also called the reward, the incentive reward system. What that is going to do is going to excite us because there's a, you know, some kind of psychological proverbial goal just around the corner. Okay, so if you can think about um, when you're really hungry, okay, and you're walking past a building and it's a donut store, for example, and you look inside and there's a donut, you get this real sense of excitement, okay, because it's essentially saying it's not the donut. The donut is culturally and and. It's culturally dependent and also depends upon the time because you know when we were revolving, we didn't have donuts, but we had food. We know what food feels like. It sustained us, it sustains us, it keeps us alive. So when the brain sees that, there's a huge rush of dopamine as if to say, hey, that's really important. You know, it's very calorically dense. It will sustain us at least for the next couple of hours, depending on how many donuts you eat. So we want to try to apply that donut analogy to a very intrinsically meaningful goal in life. That idea that we're always chasing and the more we progress, you know, and the more we overcome challenges, the more excited we feel. So we get a whole bunch of positive emotion. That's that idea, you know, that life is a journey, okay? It's a process. And if we can enjoy the process, the idea therefore becomes we love who we're becoming. But for us to do that, we need to know why we don't like where we're at right now. So this pain module is all about point A. Why don't you like where you're at right now? What specifically is it that is, isn't providing you with that kind of positive emotion? You know, why are you stuck? We really want to get into these ideas here.